47, which is closer to what we should have, absorbing heat into the into the lines now. And my superheat is 8.3, slow. And my coil. That's it's showing my superheat. It's hunting, the valve's hunting right now. So we're, we're hunting, it's a little bit, too, it's, I want to raise that up a little. My delta T is only three. So let's see what we can do to get that raised up. Suction pressure is 45. The box temperature is about 43. The superheat is 14. Frosting leaving. 
the line leaving isn't frosting, that's a good sign. see your breath, the cardboard won't be wet. But I just want to see how low it drops down when it hunts here. It's getting down a, to a negative value, which is a little bit too low. out and that may affect our uh, settings a little bit here. So the valve closed off now. It's rising a little bit. But it's pretty stable actually, not not swinging. Sometimes you get a valve opening and then closing and then opening. Drive you crazy. Alright, let's go up on the roof and see happening up there.
suction pressure here is 42. Let's go see what it is up on the roof. We got 17. Okay, I took some gas out of the system. I left it where I have a little bubble there because it's cool today. It's good not to fill it all the way up. It's very easy on a cold day to overfill it. Okay, now, see my superheat up here is 42. It's interesting to know, I think downstairs is like 17. For my subcooling, Subcooling is 10, 10.5, and let's see. Subcooling was nine went up to 10, that's a little bit better. The evaporator before was 1.2 because it was so dirty, it was so cold. Now I'm getting heat in the uh, evaporator and that's up to 17. My con uh, my condenser went up from 83 up to 97. And in is 46. Before it was before it was, it was 50. It got a little cooler out. It was 50. Now it's down to 46, 47. The air coming out before was 74. It went up to 84 even though that the temperature dropped. My di temperature difference is 38 now. Before it was 23. Before I had a, a 23 degree temperature difference on a condenser. Now I've got a 38. So I'm happier with that. That means I'm moving more heat now. Uh, the low pressure before was 20 pounds. Now it's at 3940. Uh, P1 before it was 54. Now it's 59, that's my suction line. It's good to have it a little bit higher. The superheat was 51. Now it's, I'm reading 42 up here. Air pressure before was 148. Now it's 186 right now, 188. P2, the liquid line, was 75. Now it's 87. Subcooling was 9, now it's 10. The evaporator was 1.2, now it's 17, and the condenser temperature, um, saturation temperature is was 83, now it's 97, and this is R22. So I'm pretty happy with this up here. I'm going to go downstairs now and finish checking that out, and then we'll be done. Superheat here is 16. I think it was 40 up on the roof. The um, suction line is 41, 42. My T1, a T2 is uh, 18 degrees on after the expansion belt. Leaving the coil is 34. I got an 18 degree temperature difference, so I'm going to stay with that. Before this line was free frosting before, and now it's not. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with it all. Now, I'm going to call it a day.
guys. We got this one running. <laughs> 